working on a traction engine which is similar to a Mini Part 10, a live steam test using some commercial methylated spirit burners bought online. There's one small part of this job that I didn't show in any of the videos, which was fitting a blowdown pipe to the water gauge so that the water blows down into the water tank. Here it is in action. It's ideal for getting rid of air bubbles in the water gauge and the hot water from the boiler drains into the bunker tank and heats up the boiler feed water. Here are the methylated spirit burners that are bought online. They're sort of portable appliances that you can take with you wherever you are to make a cup of tea or whatever. I bought three of them, but in reality only two will fit under the firebox. I bent a piece of brass sheet to hold the burners so I could put them in and out of the firebox. This is for test purposes only, it's not a bodge, and if the steam test is successful, I will make a proper burner for the traction engine using the parts from the commercial ones that I bought. I don't need the outer cases, I just need the parts that are covered in gauze, and they will fit into a burner holder that I will make myself. Being sensible, I should really use a syringe to fill these meth burners, because pouring it from the bottle meant that the meths went everywhere, including onto the bench. All of the surplus methylated spirit was wiped away with a cloth before lighting the burners, as I didn't want to do an impression of the wicker man. Health and safety warning, once you wipe away the meths with a cloth, put the cloth a long way from the point of ignition. With all the excess methylated spirit safely removed, it's time to light the burners. This is new territory for me, I'd never used them before. I carefully picked up the burner assembly using a pair of long nose pliers and place it in position in the firebox. I immediately had a problem that when I pushed the burner tray all the way in, the burners went out. Because when I did this, they were too far back in the firebox where there must be a shortage of oxygen. I experimented with the positions of the burner and found a position where they didn't go out. And here I'm just checking the burners to make sure that they were both lit, and they were. With a proper burner tray that I will make shortly, I need to make sure that it holds the burners in the correct position. With these initial experiments, it showed me how well the burners performed, and they really are quite good. Not exactly a raging inferno, but given enough time, they should be okay. I like methylated spirit as a fuel. Unlike gas, you don't have the complexity of an umbilical cord to the gas tank and somewhere to put the gas tank. This fitting on the top of the cylinder, which is soft-soldered into one of the safety valves, is an airline input. And here I've screwed the cap in position using a new O-ring. This is the lubricator. I modified the cap to make it very easy to remove, and here I'm removing it using a screwdriver. Then I add a few drops of steam oil into the hole in the unit. I replace the cap, and that should take care of the cylinder lubrication for quite a while. This engine runs on very low pressure and very wet steam, so the water would lubricate the cylinder if I didn't fill this with oil, but I'm taking no chances. By this time the spirit burners had run out of methylated spirit, so I removed the assembly from underneath the firebox, refilled them with methylated spirit, cleaned up all the mess and relit them. This time the flames looked a lot better than they did originally, I wonder why that is. I have a sneaking feeling that because this traction engine has been run on compressed air, some oil in the firebox may have run down onto the burners. But I don't really care because the fire is now much better. I very carefully placed the burners back under the firebox. After the first burner filling and subsequent ignition, the boiler is warm. Not hot, just warm. It's quite a big boiler for such a small burner. To give it a chance to raise some pressure, I thought it would be a good idea to close the regulator. At this point, I must admit, I didn't know what was going to happen. There is no steam just yet, and I left it for quite a while until the methylated spirits ran out again. Even at this stage, when I rotated the flywheel, with the heat, it wanted to go. Filling number three, being very careful not to flood the bench. This was very difficult, I should have used a syringe, but there up in the other workshop, I'm in the workshop that's attached to the house. Here, for the third time, I'm lighting the spirit burners. 
I'm wondering when I make the proper burner whether I can incorporate the parts from the third one by placing the innards of the third one in between the two existing ones. After about half an hour I looked at the water gauge and this is a sure sign that the water's starting to boil because it's moving up and down. When I open the regulator the engine's starting to make steamy noises. Nothing on the pressure gauge but when I rotated the flywheel off it went. Almost unbelievably, this engine is in steam. There isn't a lot of water showing on the water gauge because I drained some out to make steam raising a bit quicker. And there is no pressure reading showing on the pressure gauge whatsoever. But bear in mind I did set the safety valve to blow off at 20 psi and the working pressure really wants to be around 15. I'm going to test the water pump. I closed the water bypass valve and opened the regulator, but at a high speed I could hear the balls rattling in the check valves. A simple solution for that, slow down the engine. Here I'm experimenting with the bypass valve, which controls the amount of water that either goes to the boiler or returns to the tank. This is early on in the steam test and I didn't want to flatten the pressure too much. After a very short while the engine was still running and the water was going up the glass. I'm quite amazed by this. I thought it would have stopped the engine, but no, it's working very well. The only problem I can see is that if I run the engine fast, the water pump's check valves don't like it. The speed of filling the boiler surprised me. In no time at all, it went from this to this, full right to the top. And there's even some steam pressure showing on the gauge, approximately 15 psi. Time for a bit of warp speed, I think. I blew down the water gauge to remove a bubble and once again closed the bypass valve to feed some more water into the boiler. I am so surprised by the efficiency of this engine. 15 psi and it runs like a big traction engine. The thing is though, will it move its own weight? It certainly runs slowly very well indeed, and miraculously there aren't any steam leaks from the glands. I'd no need to worry, when I put the engine in gear and ran it across the bench, the first thing it did was run over my screwdriver. Time for me to stop the explanations and just let you watch the steam test, I'll be back at the end. The methylated spirit burners need filling again, but I think that's it for this particular steam test. There will be another when I make the new burner assembly. But that's it for now. All I have to say is stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, 
and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.